This is Jim with the PlumbingInfo.com. Today we're going to be installing a battery backup sump pump. Why don't we take a look at some of the equipment and fittings needed for this job. This is the equipment involved in installing a battery backup sump pump. Here we have the pump, the battery, the control unit, the battery box, this is the acid, the battery filler, and right here is the actual switch for the battery backup. Here are some of the tools that we'll be using. Sawzall, level, hole saw, screwdriver, tape measure, drill, pipe saw, channel locks, safety glasses, screwdriver, pipe wrenches, hammer, and gloves. Here are some additional parts that we would use for adding a battery backup to a primary sump pump. We have our inch and a half wire, inch and a half 45. We may use some other fittings over here, and we have our pipe. As we'll see later while installing it, it all depends on the installation. The first thing we're going to do, um, as with any other work in a sump pump, is we're going to unplug the sump pump. The next step will be removing the coupling from the check valve. We're going to start with the bottom of the check valve. We're going to want to completely remove the coupling. A slight twisting action should take it apart. Next, we're going to remove the cover. Pull the cord out of the cover. Now we have to remove the water from the check valve. We're going to use our channel locks. Push them up into the check valve and watch for the water. Next, we can completely remove the check valve now that we've let most of the water out. For the next step, we're going to measure the rise piece off of the pump. We're going to stick our tape measure to the bottom of the pit and the plate safe. Why don't we just go to the top of the existing uh, pipe for the other pump. Now that we've taken that measurement, we're going to transfer it to this piece of pipe and cut it. Remember to put your safety glasses on. I'm going to get all the burrs off the PVC and we'll be ready to glue the inch and a half male adapter onto it. First, use your primer. It may be clear or purple. Some cities or villages require that you use purple primer to show evidence that you use primer. Next, we'll put the glue. And as we push it together, we'll use a slight twisting action and we'll have to hold it together for at least a 30 second count.